a feeling that will stick forever. It's what two Louisville families say about the pit in their stomach they've been feeling since losing loved ones last year. And with the Metro reaching a record number of homicides for the second year in a row, it's a feeling becoming all too common. Losing a loved one to gun violence is something Antonia Lucas's mom says is the worst kind of pain. We still feel a void. The joy is gone. You know, there's a piece of us that's missing. On New Year's Eve 2020, she tracked her daughter's phone to Lambton Street in the Smoketown neighborhood. That's where she found a car. Her daughter was inside, shot to death. While it's been more than 300 days since that painful discovery, she says this type of pain is something that time can't heal. This was something that I carried for nine months that grew inside of me. Grew inside of me. I felt her kick. And to know that someone took her away from me. Like it. Just like that. And she's not alone. Since laying her daughter to rest, another 173 more have been murdered in the metro. Because every day you know it's at least one or two people killed. And it's just too many people running loose doing whatever. It's out of control. Alexis Cooper lost her brother Robert Mitchum IV in March of last year. She says it pains her to hear of another family experiencing a similar situation because what they don't know is that they're in for a long road of suffering. It will change in what it looks like and what it feels like, but that longing for someone that you love that was taken away from you for no reason is forever, forever. And the impact of that suffering is causing Cooper to fear the very place she grew up loving. My brother was uh, a West End guy. That connection to the West End was the demise of my brother. So, no, I don't um, particularly care to be in the West End. No, I don't particularly care to be anywhere near anybody or anything that would symbolize why I'm missing such a big part of me. I'm sorry. City leaders have announced plans to combat the violence, including talks to reopen the Jefferson County Youth Detention Center, which was shut down due to budget cuts. But until there's change, both Lucas's mom and Cooper say, expect more of the same. And if you don't get these kids off the street that are causing half of these problems, it's only going to get worse. In Louisville, Minaj Kungwari. WLKY News. And of the 173 homicides, LMPD has made arrests in nearly 60 of those cases. There are more than 100 cases still unsolved from last year as well.